Hey guys and welcome to Words at Scale. So this video has been kind of negatively inspired by the AI PRM Chrome extension for JGBD and the famous or rather infamous Outrank prompt, which turned out to be bogus. So it basically <laughs> tells you to insert the URL and that uh, prompt is supposed to Outrank that URL and that article, even though the extension itself cannot fetch or parse anything like the data itself. It cannot see what the article is about. So that ended up to be a big fat joke. And I was thinking how uh, we can use ChatGPT to actually outrank our competitors. And there are many ways and backlinks uh, are important. Domain authority is important, but right now I want to talk about content only. So the three ways I'm going to use ChatGPT to outrank my competitors are as follows. First of all, I want to have the most comprehensive outline possible. So if we use the same example as in the previous video with the do bodybuilders do keto. So this is the result number one. And what we can actually do, we can copy the article. We can go over to ChatGPT and say extract the article outline for do body builders do keto based on the below text and we'll paste it over and this is our article outline and you can use my Chrome extension to do just that. But I feel like ChatGPT adds extra spice, extra sauce when contemplating on the outline of the article. And I feel like it suggests additional information, which is hidden when you're just using my Chrome extension or similar Chrome extensions. So basically this way it gives you the insights into the outline. So. Uh, much more than just the recollection of the H1s and H2s and so forth. So this is the article outline of the article that we want to outrank. And this is the first command. So the second command would be suggest relevant information that is currently missing from the above outline and ChatGPT is going to look at the outline below above and it will suggest additional talking points like sample meal plan for example which is actually quite a good idea supplements for the keto bodybuilder potential risks and considerations so this is actually extremely important and I'm pretty sure that, that this has not been covered by the article. So right now we can say generate a single outline for do body builders. This word gives me, it drives me crazy. Like I've misspelled it so many times already. Do body builders do keto. Generate a single outline for do bodybuilders do keto based on the above outlines one and two. Excluding overlapping similar information. Okay. And ChatGPT is saying, sure, here is a consolidated outline that includes the unique information from both outlines. And this way we are taking the outline of the article that we want to outrank as a basis. And then we'll, we are adding upon it based on what ChatGPT thinks is missing from the original outline. 
So this way we are basically creating a, a more detailed, robust outline that is capable of outranking our competition outline wise. So this is not a complete article just yet. So this is basically step number one, the outline. Step number two, uh, which is extremely important again when it comes to uh, outranking our competition is the LSI keywords. So I've had uh, some luck with this prompt without priming ChatGPT, but just to be safe, we'll prime it. So we'll say, are you familiar with the LSI keywords in SEO? Yes, I am familiar with OSI keywords. OSI stands for Latent Semantic Indexing, which is a method for that search engines use to understand the relationship between words and concepts and blah, blah, blah. So the next command would be extract LSI keywords related to do body builders do keto based on the on the below text and we'll put a spin on it so extract our side keywords and generate a two column table number one keywords number two frequency related to okay related to do polybiris do keto keywords based on the below text and we'll paste the text text once again okay and this is where the magic happens so we are getting some LSI keywords like ketogenic diets low carb diets and the frequency of usage so we we can see that protein intake is used three times hydration water intake two times ketogenic diet two times and training intensity two times so this is very helpful and we can copy this over and make sure to use these keywords so this is step number two step number three is to generate and create unique information everybody is i feel like this is becoming a vicious cycle in seo so everybody is copying everybody else and basically there is a hard ceiling when it comes to copying your competitors because your article is likely is likely to be just a compilation of uh, competitor one, two, and three, even though you're using my method of uh, asking ChatGPT what is missing, but this is not enough in many cases. So uh, what you can do, and so we are gonna use a free Chrome extension for ChatGPT, is to go, go to YouTube and we'll copy the keywords. We'll paste it here. Then we'll need to find a, a video with lots of uh, views like ketogenic diet, Palumbo sets the record straight. And this is a famous bodybuilder, if I'm not mistaken. The ketogenic diet science behind low carbs, keto for fat loss, do low carb diets work for bodybuilders? So we'll just, as an example, we'll go for this one here. And the extension is called YouTube Summary with ChatGPT. And the way it works is that once you open the video, you go to, you get this transcript and summary thingy here. And we just want to copy the transcript. And we'll go to ChatGPT and say extract and outline without actually writing the article based on the below text and we'll paste it over. 
So this is extremely accurate and I've checked it many times with my videos. So basically we have misconceptions about ketogenic diet, benefits of ketogenic diet, what is ketosis. And if I'm not mistaken, we were not talking about ketosis in the initial article. Rich Piana, who is a, if I'm not mistaken again, who is who was a big proponent of ketogenic diet. So this is something that can be brought up in the article. And you can choose what, whichever uh, YouTube uh, video you think fits and use this uh, outline and repeat the process I described before. And now you are basically compilating three different outlines, the original outline, the what is missing outline and the YouTube video outline to get the most out of your article. And this way, provided you have a comparable amount of backlinks, you will outrank your competition. And if it's a very low competition keyword like this one here, uh, if I remember correctly, number two result is only uh, DA of one. So we can outrank this guy here with no problem at all. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.